Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick at BobN.com. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out Creatine JB from X Endurance. So X Endurance was founded in 2006 by a former Olympic bobsled athlete for Team USA. Right now they're based in Tempe, Arizona, and they've got quite a following among functional fitness athletes. In fact, the JB here in Creatine JB is Josh Bridges, a well-known CrossFit athlete who helped to formulate the actual supplement itself. There's a little more to it than just straight creatine monohydrate, but before I get into all that, I'm gonna see how the lemon citrus flavor tastes with water. No, it's nice, it's pretty refreshing. Um, I will say that I was expecting a stronger flavor. This is lemon citrus flavor. Uh, it also has citric acid and malic acid, which are natural ingredients that help to make, a, make it taste more sour. Uh, but this is actually pretty mild. Um, that's probably because there are no artificial sweeteners in this. In fact, the only flavorings in this are cane sugar and orange flavor and lemon flavor, in addition to the citric acid and the malic acid. So it's less of a lemon flavor and more of a citrus flavor. So it's actually quite refreshing. It's just pretty mild. Okay, so let's take a close look at the nutrition label. One serving has 10 calories. Those just come from carbohydrates. There's 2.4 grams of carbs per serving with 2.2 grams of sugar. The main ingredient in this, of course, is creatine. You get four grams of creatine monohydrate per serving. And it's worth pointing out that it's not just any creatine monohydrate. This is CreaPure brand creatine. That's made in a dedicated facility in Germany that has a really good reputation for purity. They get their, their product tested at the German Olympic Training Center in Berlin, and they've just got a ton of quality controls to help minimize banned substances and impurities. Besides that, uh, the other main ingredient in this is lactate, which is kind of the main event for this product. The lactate is in here to help with your endurance. According to X-Endurance, lactate is your body's preferred fuel source during high-intensity bouts of exercise. The studies are a little bit mixed on this. There are studies that say that lactate has no effect on your workout whatsoever, but there was a study published in 2014 that showed that it did have a good effect on your time to fatigue during high intensity bouts of exercise. Short term, high intensity bouts of exercise. So that sounds a lot like functional fitness, so that could indeed have a good effect on your workouts, but there's not a lot of effect on longer workouts. There was one study on a 40 kilometer bike ride that showed it didn't improve performance at all. But short term, high intensity workouts could help out. So as far as the price goes, this little bag here is 30 servings and it's going to cost you $30. So that's $1 per serving. And that's going to make it 25 cents per gram of creatine because you get four grams of creatine per serving. So on a per gram of creatine basis, that's pretty expensive because it's not hard to find regular creatine monohydrate. Even Crea Pure brand creatine for four or five cents per gram. This is 25 cents per gram, but obviously you're paying for the lactate and also the natural flavoring. So you may find the price worth it. So there are quite a few things that I liked about Creatine JB. Number one, it doesn't have any artificial ingredients or artificial sweeteners or anything like that. It also has Crea Pure brand creatine, which is pretty high quality stuff. The lactate could potentially have an effect on short term workouts at a very high intensity. Uh, on top of that, one thing I didn't mention is that this has been third party tested for banned substances by not one but two different organizations, Informed Choice and Labdoor. It's one of only three creatine brands that have been tested by Labdoor, which is a pretty reputable third party testing site. So for athletes in particular who are really concerned about banned substances, that could bring some peace of mind. The main things you might not be quite so crazy about with this product, number one, it is a bit more expensive than your regular creatine monohydrate. If you're just looking for a regular creatine product, there are plenty of options that are cheaper than this one. As far as the lactate goes, while there is evidence that it may help with short-term high-intensity workouts, if the fact that it has endurance on the label made you think it could help with really long-duration workouts, or perhaps it could help with moderate-intensity or low-intensity workouts, that may not be the case, according to the scientific evidence we have right now. One other thing is that it does contain sugar. It's just 2.2 grams of cane sugar. Nonetheless, there are a lot of people, particularly paleo folks, who really try and absolutely minimize added sugar in their diets, so they might not be so happy about that. One more thing is that it has four grams of creatine per serving. The normal serving is five grams, which is a bit larger, but of course, you can always just take a bigger scoop. All right, those are my thoughts on Creatine JB from X Endurance. For full review, just Google Barben plus Creatine JB.